Who are we going to be after 10 years? Who are we going to be after 20 years? Do you think that a technology will arrive in the next 5, 10, 20 years that we can embed, we can upload our mind, or we could slow down the aging that we should be able to live at least 150 to 200 years? Can we upload our brain and transform into something else and we become a technology or a computer once the body is diminished? Things like that. I really want you to give a thought. Forget about the word transhuman, but think about evolution. Think about what adds value and what's normal today and how frequently that norm was changed from last 1000 years. And you will find the answer. And there is nothing that we can do. We cannot stop it. Average lifespan is going higher and higher every single year. The rate of that is really slow, but if you take a look, starting from ever since human became human from animals till today, our average lifespan was 50 to 60 years, versus today it's about 80 years. So we did evolve. And so what was normal? Is this the life extension that we get after every 50 to 60 years? Do we become robot after 50 to 60 years? No, we still, we still stay human. And that's the concept is that today, even if we get a technology that is embedded into our body that help us stay alive more than 100 years, more than 200 years, we still stay human. As long as we have the authorities, protocols, rules, standards out there to control from bad things to happen. And that's exactly you need to remember is that even if we resist this concept of transhumanism or just what I want to call it in layman's term, a speed of evolution, then we're not going to be here after so many years. And our kids, the generation that comes after us, they will take care of the same. They will evolve. So there is no way we can stop this evolution whether you want to call it transhumanism, artificial intelligence, neural network, nanotechnology, the time has arrived where we are already using all these technologies. The only difference where I'm seeing resistance is providing one little step of automation where you embed that technology rather than holding the smartphone on your hand. Why can't you implement that whole processor and storage into the brain permanently? You're already looking at it all day long. So what's this resistance? Just because you're wearing it and not holding it from the hand that is making you transhuman? Then today we have GoPro cameras that people are wearing all day long. We, wear, we have a wearable watch. Do we become transhuman? Do we become robots by just wearing that watch which is intelligent? Or are you, do you have fear because now this watch is going to be embedded, there's not going to be a band around it. Well, then for the folks that are suffer from hearing issues, they already have a permanent implant surgery that, that has been out there for so, so many times. There are enough surgeries that has been out there that will implant something in your body to fix the disease or enhance the lifespan. I don't want to debate on the exact technical term on medical side, but I hope you get my concept is that even though maybe you don't like transhumans, maybe you saw that movie, maybe those images that are stuck in your mind from that movie that you saw about the robots, right? But you have to understand it's just a word. The fruits of transhuman, what it's trying to say, will be always delivered. We're going to have eyes with the lens in which we should be able to zoom in directly from our eyes. We should be able to look at the infrared. We should be able to hear the frequencies that we can't hear. We should be able to do so many things by embedding this technology. Today, everyone is okay with holding those technology on their hand and using it. But the moment we start talking about putting this technology into our body, that's where the resistance comes in. But the point is, there are wearables out there, there's enough implant surgeries out there, why don't we call them transhuman? They still act like human. And that's the point is that I really want you to understand if you are one of the person who is passionate about transhuman and you have an opinion about it, I'm not saying whether transhumanism is wrong or right, but think about it. 
are you just resisting it because you saw some movies and those pictures of aliens are on your mind every time you think about transhuman is that the case and if so you know when you next time when you hold a smartphone on your hand or have that apple or samsung watch on your hand smartwatch what is that you're already doing it and so why resist we should definitely make sure that someone doesn't utilize this technology to misuse and make something that we don't use to but if it's adding value if it's adding help us find the answers if it's adding value into our own life our own body brain the life that we deserve there is no standard defined that humans should live x amount of years the last i heard is that as long as humans stay is about 120 or 122 years it is all normal because the person that lived in the france last time it was verified that you know that person was 122 year old so now does that become the normal or you want to call it that the person was transhuman the person was supernatural and that's the point is that we debate about these things by pretending something and keep bragging about these words that may have a bad reputation out there but the focus is on the rate of evolution to provide the value and that's how we're different human civilization that's why we are not animals because we are evolving there are many civilizations that could be outside that our brain is not even mature enough in the universe to find out but if we evolve faster we should be able to find the answers and that's the point that I want to bring about is that I'm trying to connect with the people who are doing the research on evolution the stuff that adds value into the life whether you want to call it nanotechnology transhumanism robots artificial intelligence call it whatever you want or give it another name but we really need to work together and focus on the issues that gives human life better resistance better immunity a good efficient living and more brain power and to the point that if we need to take a snapshot of that we should be able to do so today if I know an essay or story I can easily write down right there's no one's gonna stop me and I just took a snapshot of that story if I remember something I can also paint that and so that's the point is that if you expedite the process of same thing with the most accuracy which you call it a taking a backup of your mind and uploading your mind and you should be able to download the time that you want to review that should be all normal as long as it's allowed within the guideline within the protocols and that's I really want you to focus is that next time you hear about transhuman think about it if that's what it is then are you not transhuman today and if you if you don't like the transhuman word can you adapt that by using any other word called neural network neural humans or AI humans there is uh, already a great example outside which is a Sophia robot and when I looked at the video and I did research last year it was really impressive on where, how far we have come. There are experiments done by neural network company. Look it up. And there are so many people that you will see speaking the TED talk. They will talk about the great things. And I really want you to connect with me if you are one of the person who is doing the research about transhuman or how we can add value or anti-aging because we really need to work together in order to add value into our own lifespan into our family on the earth and that's the point is that just by saying transhuman you just bad mouth the transhuman that world doesn't have a bad reputation that does not mean you or I or anyone else can stop the process of evolution because it's happening at very fast rate but because it's it's fractionated there is no one good big effort there is no a a, a particular a common place where all these efforts are tied together that's why we see all these silos of evolution but the fact is that it's happening at a very fast rate and no one can stop it for foreseeable reason so think about transhuman 
Who are we going to be after 10 years? Who are we going to be after 20 years? Do you think that a technology will arrive in the next 5, 10, 20 years that we can embed, we can upload our mind, or we could slow down the aging that we should be able to live at least 150 to 200 years? Can we upload our brain and transform into something else and we become a technology or a computer once the body is diminished? Things like that. I really want you to give a thought. Forget about the word transhuman, but think about evolution. Think about what adds value and what's normal today and how frequently that norm was changed from last 1,000 years. And you will find the answer. And if you have a question for me, if you want to get more details, please feel free to reach out to me. We can talk about it. Or if you want to step up to the stage, we can definitely have a conversation. But that's it about the transhuman. I saw a very conflicting information about this term, so that's why I decided to create this video. To help you understand, just like people couldn't stop artificial intelligence to come and become normal today, they're not gonna be able to stop transhuman. Maybe it's gonna arrive in a different name, but it will happen because it all goes back to adding more value into human giving better brain, better body, more efficiency, more value to live on this earth. And that's what we needed. So give it a thought. Let me know what you think. Please comment below, reach out to me personally, and we'll definitely talk. But I'm gonna be having some more sessions about the transhuman and the better world, uh, stuff that provides value. Not necessarily a stuff that will harm us, but a technology, an innovation, invention that will benefit human civilization. And it's already happening today. And my goal is to connect those people together and see if we can collaborate and expedite the process of innovation together. So that's it for this session. I hope it added some value. Again, feel free to reach out to me. And I will definitely see you next time. Until then, take it easy. Have a good one.